Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create tab based form in power apps using modern tab list control. Let's just talk about how we can create it. I'm into my power apps. I'll go to create blank app, blank canvas app. I'll name my app as demo app. Create. Once inside my designer, I can go to insert search for tab list. As you can see, there is no tab list available for that. You have to go to the app setting here, upcoming feature, search for modern control as you can see and uh, enable it. So this is a preview features, not into general availability. So just keep that things into mind. Now I'll go back to insert again. You see there is classic and modern tab available now and down there you see tab list. Click. You will have a tab list control. You can either connect this to any of the data source or you can set the items property. And in the items property, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table. And inside this one, I'm going to create a records with a name like general info comma id will be one select this copy this comma separator paste it again a comma separator paste it change id three change this to two, change the name of tab like uh, general info to detailed info. And last tab name will be like summary. Okay, so you can uh, put anything that you want to put instead of this name and ID and just uh, keep it for my reference, easy to use. Once that is done, you will see there is uh, some weird numbers appearing here. It's an automatic one. What you have to do is go to the fields property, add fields, whatever the names we have created, the field name, it will appear here. And I want to select the name property, add it. Now you'll see you have general info, detailed info and summary tabs available. If I run this, you see, this is a nice looking tab list control you have. Now important thing is, uh, as of now, we have some limited property for this tab list control, like uh, we can change the size to small, medium, large, according to your uh, need. Uh, but there is no custom uh, size you can put alignment is horizontal and vertical. If I set it vertical, you will see that it's uh, appear as a flyer because I have not increased the height. And if I increase the height, it will be vertical. All right. So this is the second thing I wanted to mention. I will change alignment back to horizontal in my case, as I need uh, this into horizontal. So there is a position X and Y that you can set and size, width and height. So these are some limited properties as of now we have. And you can't set the background color, font, anything customized that you want for this particular tab list as of now. So we'll tweak this. What we will do is we'll uh, go to the classic, add a container. Okay. Send this to backward. Align it properly. Align it uh, to the exact height. And now I can set the background color of this particular one. And uh, this looks uh, good to me. And maybe I can set the drop shadow as a regular one. Okay. And next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one more container. I'll uh, reorder, send this to back. 
and uh, I'm gonna start this from here and then I'm gonna insert a button which will see text property of this button will be submit form all right and now i'm going to insert a form a edit form and i will connect this to my sharepoint data source i'll select my site select financial sample data connect it We have a form here and I'm going to set this according to the container. And you see there is scroll bar. I will uh, change columns to two column structure. And uh, if I go to the container to change the background color here maybe something like this so we have uh, a nice looking uh, form with uh, a tab but no data so what i'm going to do is in my form i'm going to set this to default mode as new i have to map this with my tab list so for that what i have to do is i will uh, select some data card here so i'll go to first data card hold shift go to the next data card come back again now you can select these so in first tab i'm going to show these first six data card and i'll go to the visible property of these six data card this is set as true so what i'm gonna say instead of true is tab list one dot selected dot you see there is a two field that i have created a name and id so i will say id i'm sorry id is equal to one because i have put the id like one two three so what i'm saying is these six control will be visible whenever my first tab will be selected copy this entire statement and now i will go to next set of uh, data cards i will select these four and uh, go to the visible property of these four again and this time paste the same and change id equal to two okay and now i'll uh, go back select all the rest of the fields set the visible property of these one to equal to three that's all what i have to do and if i run this now you will see in general info i can see only these uh, six fields and in detail i see these four and in summary i see all of these and if I click on submit form on select property of the summit, what I'm going to say is submit form form one. That's all. Save my power apps saved. I'll uh, just publish this on my app in productions. Now you will see there is a nice looking form that we created and it's look perfectly fine if i just put any of the value like test business unit test like some currency i put i'm just putting the random value just to showcase you that uh, it will submit the data as well and if i select december data july september and submit the form 
the data it submitted two seconds ago you will see this uh, test data we created is here so this can be useful for many scenarios you can create your navigations left navigation stop navigation using this particular tab list control and they will be adding more uh, you know customizations option to this particular one in near future as well soon it will uh, be into a general availability as well so i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching